Hi everyone, Lisa Resnick with The Realty. I am with Eric Offenberg, the Executive Director for the Columbiana Chamber of Commerce. Hey, Eric. Hi, nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming on. I really appreciate it. I mean, as we all know, there's tons of activity going on in Columbiana. And tell us a little bit when it comes to the chamber end of things, like what is it exactly that what you guys do to help out like in the commercial real estate community, our business people, everybody that comes out there that's looking to establish themselves in Columbiana? Well, I will say that uh, 2020 was a year for us to adapt um, and to reevaluate everything that we did. And so uh, one of the things that we've worked on this past year is really what what do we offer to our members? And uh, a couple of things that we are working on uh, is a business toolbox where if a business needs help when they come to town, we work closely with the city and with the tourism bureau and everything like that as, as far as if you need Facebook help, if you need advertising help, if you need help with your books, um, you need to learn that, that kind of thing. Uh, we're we're going to be offering those kind of um, benefits to our members. Um, but we we kind of are, we have a family mentality here. Um, if you're a if you're a chamber member in Columbiana, you're you're a part of the family and businesses um, have just been great throughout 2020 as far as helping out. Um, obviously, some businesses thrived, some businesses did not. And there is a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, overlap there with folks helping out when they could, and they, maybe they didn't if they couldn't, but they got help. So um, that's kind of a nice mentality of having a smaller chamber. Um, we're, we're not the largest chamber in the area, obviously, but uh, to be able to have that family mentality and have folks um, just be able to help out wherever they could, um, and we, we will help anybody. And I will tell you this, our, our city, um, Lance Willard, our city manager, um, is such an advocate for he's um, phenomenal. Businesses. Yeah, he is coming into the city, finding resources. If there is, if there's a project that somebody wants, he'll look for resources as, as much as you can. The city is behind any, any growth and expansion. And it's, it's shown we have our, um, community reinvestment act, which is the tax abatement, um, for new builds here. We have over, over, I think around 70 new builds going on just this year alone um, as I'm far sure. as residential houses. Um, and that also can apply to uh, businesses as well. We had a great story on WFMJ the other night about expansion out at our Firestone Farms area. Yes, um, you but did. There's a lot of different places that um, you can expand here in Columbiana. So, and, and the city backs you 100%. So that's, that's a really great thing. I love how much the chamber there helps people make their vision a reality. I really do love the support that you give these businesses to be able to achieve their goals and which you yourself have a great vision for Columbiana and are looking to have your own business start there, right? Tell Absolutely. us a little bit. Tell us about, tell us about the main theater the Main that, Street Theater yes. um, is kind of an icon here in town. It's a, it's kind of an anchor for our downtown. Um, if you've ever lived in Columbiana, you have a memory of some sort at the Main Street Theater, whether you saw a movie here, whether you saw you know, shows here, whatever it would be. And then uh, the Arthurs family, um, a Columbiana family, purchased the theater um, a while back, did a beautiful renovation on it. The theater is um, state of the art. It's one of the nicest venues in the area. Um, and then... Uh, Crown Theater um, got their start here, which Crown Theater is a Christian-based, family-friendly entertainment um, organization and had a, a number of uh, really successful seasons and amazing participation from youth, adults, um, everybody. And so, um, and then COVID hit. And so yeah. at that point, um, the theater had to shut down. Obviously, you know, entertainment venues are the first to go and the last to come back. We found that out uh, this past year. And it, it hit hard and the Arthur's family the, as much as they have put into that Main Street theater it's it's just too much of a burden for one um, one family to to maintain and so um, what what is happening is we after talking with with Don and him talking about he wouldn't be able to open up as a theater again uh, just for family reasons um, wanted to pass on the torch and so we have started a uh, a nonprofit organization called the Columbiana Cultural Collective. Um, we are actually, a, we're waiting on our 501c3 status, um, but we are through a 501c3 
um, the Colombian Area Tourism Bureau. Um, we're a committee of that at this moment, waiting for our own status. Um, but we are looking to purchase the Main Street Theater complex, um, and we're we're looking for donors to help us do that right now. Um, we're looking uh, the the cost that we are looking at what we would like to raise. Um, obviously, we would like to raise as much as we can, but of course. Um, as far as the purchase price of the entire um, area is uh, 1.3 million. And so we are looking for larger donors in the 300,000 to $500,000 range um, on this ground level, um, which obviously we, we're talking about naming rights for the different areas of the theater. Um, this theater has been you know, occupied by Crown Theater. It still will be, they will be the home theater here, but this is gonna be a venue for um, all of the arts. We're going to have art studios, photography, film festivals, um, concert venues. Uh, the music community is really um, excited about this, especially our local artists here and, and folks in the Youngstown area as well. Um, so having this be a, a community cultural center and run by um, folks in the community, we thought was the best route to go. And once again, we talked about Lance Willard earlier and, and the city yes. manager and this the city officials are 100% behind um, this, this organization. Um, and so we, like I said, we are looking for that um, with naming rights of the different parts of the theater with a larger donation. Um, obviously your recognition, you would, you would have a certain number of years with those naming rights. And um, uh, just if you are looking to get into Columbiana and have recognition here, uh, this is a great way to do it. Um, Everybody wants to save the theater. One of the things that Crown Theater did is a, um, they have a special, we have a special needs program. I'm actually the artistic director at Crown too. And so- um, Oh our, yes, that's right. Yeah, our special needs program um, really got a lot of recognition a couple years ago because we were nominated for the nicest place in America from Reader's Digest 2019. And uh, when that happened, we kind of got national recognition uh, for you our did. theater program. Um, we're, we, it's, it's a replicatable program. We would love to expand it throughout um, the nation. Um, we are working on a book on how to do that. Uh, so the folks that are involved with that, but um, to get uh, one of the things that the pandemic has really hurt a lot of folks socially, especially the special needs community. Yes. Um, and so our, one of our big goals is to make this uh, facility completely um, accessible, whether it be a wheelchair or whatever. Um, and so that's another cost that we're going to incur um, putting in an elevator to the different levels and things like that. But um, there's a lot of opportunity here for um, recognition and for sponsorship. I think it's absolutely phenomenal what, what you are, all are planning to do. Thank and for, for those that um, may not have been in the center of Columbiana, because that to me is the heart of Columbiana is that downtown area. Yep. And and that Main Street Theater ha is is such a great position of where it is around the circle. And to make sure that that on on a on a real estate side and and its community connection side to make sure that that's still alive and vibrant is so significant when it comes to every other little faction. Of course, economically it is significant when it comes to residential and other commercial aspects of real estate is significant because it does. If you're drawing in the people, it's going to draw in the values and it's going to help boost everyone up and, mm -hmm. and how you're going about doing it and what's going to be there established plays, music, everything. The arts is so profound and it does have that amazing positive impact that we we are all achieving and sometimes i i think that the arts people don't keep in their first thought in their mind when they think of the economy and everything but having the arts as part of your community is so significant mm -hmm. in having that draw come in so i i absolutely love it well thank you thanks very much we have some really great um some really great folks on our board and some folks that are helping us out outside of our board as well with fundraising. Um, yes. If I could just mention, um, number one, in July, we're going to have a, a really um, incredible arts weekend here uh, on July 10th and 11th. Um, we have our, um, so we are planning a couple different things and a good friend of mine, Nicole Ice, is organizing all of this and um, it's just She's an amazing She's phenomenal. Thing. 
Absolutely, she is. Yes. She's wonderful for marketing and all kinds of great stuff. Um, but uh, on July 10th, we're going to have the Columbiana Art Fusion Festival, which is down in historic uh, Columbiana, right on Main Street there. Um, there will be artists from all over the state um, that are going to design and complete works of art right in front of you. Um, there will be chalk art. There will be um, all kinds of different um, medium that, that artists use. So they're going to be completing works of art um, to be auctioned off the next day, um, which is July 11th, which out at Firestone Farms, which is just on the outskirts of Columbiana, awesome entertainment venue, great restaurants, um, awesome entertainment. But there's going to be a, a full day concert there. Um, six different local bands have volunteered their time um, to uh, put on this, this amazing concert. And um, basically, uh, there's going to be an auction there that auctions off the artwork from the day before. Um, It'll be at the amphitheater at Firestone Farms, um, and 100% uh, of ticket sales for that is going towards the Columbiana Cultural Collective. So, so, so excited we'll, to have these events happen. So, will Dora be part of these events? Could possibly. We'll we'll work on that. Columbiana is a uh, during COVID they enacted um, Dora uh, kind of on a regular basis, but yeah, yes, for events did. we'll we'll have to check that out um, as we get more more into planning this. So. Yes, That's absolutely. right, because previously, Dora with Columbiana, it was specified to the event. So if you wanted to have an event, whether it be a race or an arts festival right. or a type of flea, then you would you would have to go in front of city council for approval to have Dora initiated. And for people who don't know what Dora is, um, I always mess up the acronym. It's what is it? Designated Outdoor, outdoor Ref Refreshment, refreshment area yes that's so it, it gives you, so it gives you the ability to take your beverage from birdfish mm -hmm. and be able to drink your beverage at the same time as as going as out the there is going on yes that's right so it'd and be so, great if that's and, and enacted the nice thing is that uh we we have kind of three main areas here in columbia and the chamber um, kind of deals with all three areas. Number one is our historic downtown. Number two is Firestone Farms. Uh, and then number three is our, we call it the North End um, or the Dutch District. Um, where, yes. You know, the, the Dutch house and, and the shops there and then all the other plazas up in the North End of town. Um, and so to be able to hit all those areas with events is is amazing. Um, and it each is. has its own benefits and things like that. But we have a lot going on with entertainment here. And one of the things with the cultural collective, we're, you know, we're working closely with Firestone Farms and with, with uh, the Best Western Plus Dutch House Inn and Suites, which has an amazing entertainment program as well. We don't want to compete. We want to work together. So one of our goals here is to just make Columbiana um, not like a place where you come for a couple hours for an event, but where you come to stay for the weekend. And so um, that goal, along with the Tourism Bureau, along with the city and the chamber, and any organization really um, in town, we're, we're trying to work towards that. So when you come to um, an event at Firestone Farms, maybe there's a play that night later on, or you you know you you maybe want to come for an art festival or whatever it would be. So we want to work work all uh, with all of the organizations together to make that a, a reality. Well, that's exactly right, and there is plenty of things that we can do in Columbiana for us to like completely easily fill your entire day or weekend with different Absolutely. things that we can do there. And I, again, like, I love everything that you're doing. I hope, I hope that you get the fundraising that you need to acquire the building I because, so because I do, I have my memories of the main street theater too. Mm -hmm. So it'd be great to see it live and vivacious all over again. Now that, especially now that, that we are starting to open back up again. Absolutely. And if anybody would um, like to discuss um, being a donor um, on any level, um, you can go to our uh, website, which is www.columbianaculturalcollective.com. If you would like to contact myself, um, that's info at columbianaculturalcollective.com. And uh, I, we would be happy to, uh, obviously, all all larger donations and naming rights and things like that have other benefits as well. And that's all negotiable. So if someone would like to get in on the ground level on this, um, now is the time to do this. We're on the verge of a 
a major donation. I can't really say a lot about that, but uh, a good I may have heard a little bit about that, but we won't spill that tea today. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, it's it's if you do want in on the ground level of this, um, this is the time to do it. Um, but like I said, any donation is welcome. We also have um, the festival coming up. You can make it just a donation on our website. Um, and then we also have a t-shirt sale coming up here. It's, it's, it's on our website as well. It's a really cool t-shirt that Nicole designed. It's, we're going with the hashtag keep the culture, um, and the oh, Columbia and a cultural collective logo is on the back of that shirt with the keep the culture uh, logo in the front. So if you would like to, it's a, it's a great shirt created by rat creative. So it's, it's the same, um, creator that does birdfish t-shirts and it's that soft nice t-shirt yes, good quality he, he also um he designed and did our shirts for the homes and hops 5k oh which, great, great, which great. was partnered with the breweries in the area so i mean yes yeah rat creative Rack does creative some really awesome. amazing stuff as well and and we thank them for their support as well um there's going to be other opportunities to donate whether it, uh, we're looking at um you could purchase a seat where your your plaque would be on the seat forever um we have 400 seats in the venue it's a nice smaller venue but it is really really well uh renovated so but um we are going to be having um seat donation where you would donate and purchase a seat and have your plaque on there as well um we're looking for smaller one-time donations we'll have a program where you can donate monthly um if you'd like to do that um as well so we're looking at every aspect of raising the money but our first um big thing has to be we can't do anything until we purchase the building um, and we have plans for renovations and extensions and expansions and all kinds of stuff so, and the, the possibilities are endless so it's yep. kind to of get, a cool thing to get the grants you need to have the title so absolutely <laughs> so i hope that you're able to get that title thank you and and i'm sure the family now wouldn't would love for you guys to be the new the new owners and they are, we're working closely with them and they're ready the to pass the torch. So, yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate you coming on and I appreciate everything that you're doing in Columbiana. Thank oh. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.